did Brexit help the United Kingdom roll out the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine sooner than other European countries? In early December, Matt Hancock, the UK's health minister, announced because of Brexit, we've been able to make a decision based on the UK regulator, a world-class regulator, and not go at the pace of the Europeans, who are moving a little bit more slowly. That's false. While the United Kingdom did become the first Western nation to start vaccinating its citizens, since January the 31st and up to December the 31st, the UK and the EU remain tied together in the Brexit transition period. And during that time, the UK still has to obey European rules. In fact, it's an EU rule that allowed the UK to get a head start on other member states who could have used it if they'd wanted. Vaccines do indeed need to be approved for use in Europe by the European Medicines Agency, the EMA. But all member states can use an emergency measure to temporarily authorise vaccines for their citizens if they face a health crisis, for example, a pandemic. And what's more, if British citizens today have access to the vaccine, it's in part thanks to European funds. In June, the European Investment Bank loaned the German laboratory BioNTech 100 million euros that allowed the lab behind the vaccine to ramp up production of its drug. So in reality, British citizens, Brexiteers or Remainers do have the EU to thank for something.